Imagine that you honestly believe that someone is about to attack you, and you respond in self-defense by using deadly force. How will the justice system deal with you? The New York Court of Appeals addressed this question in People v. Getz. In the mid-1980s, violent crime was at an all-time high in New York City. On December 22, 1984, Bernard Getz boarded a subway car armed with an unlicensed pistol. Three years earlier, Getz had been mugged, and so he often carried a pistol to protect himself. While on the subway car, four young men in their late teens approached Getz. Although the young men didn't brandish a weapon or explicitly threaten violence, Getz feared they were dangerous. When one of them said, quote, give me five dollars, unquote, Getz concluded that he was about to be robbed again. Getz responded to the perceived threat by shooting three of the young men. Then, after pausing for a few seconds and looking around, Getz saw the fourth young man sitting. Getz then shot him too. Getz fled from the scene, but turned himself in to the police a few days later. Without remorse, he admitted to the shooting, but said he honestly believed he was about to be robbed. He also said that he wished there had been more ammunition in his pistol so he could have fired more bullets at them. Three of the young men whom Getz shot recovered from their injuries, but one was left paralyzed. A state prosecutor convened a grand jury and asked it to consider various charges against Getz, including attempted murder. The prosecutor instructed the grand jury on the defense of justification, that is, whether Getz properly acted in self-defense. The prosecutor told the grand jury that they shouldn't charge Getz if they believed that his perception of the need to use deadly force was objectively reasonable. The prosecutor also asked the grand jury to consider a separate charge related to Getz's illegal possession of the firearm. The grand jury rejected the justification defense and charged Getz with attempted murder and related crimes, as well as with illegal possession of a firearm. Getz moved to dismiss the indictment on the ground that the prosecutor had erroneously instructed the grand jury that justification requires an objectively reasonable belief. Getz argued that the justification defense should only concern his subjective state of mind. The state trial court agreed and dismissed the indictment. The prosecution appealed the dismissal, but the state's intermediate appellate court affirmed. The prosecution then appealed to the New York Court of Appeals, 